Hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you're all having a great time at Microsoft Build 2023. And I'm Ajay, and I have my colleague Yun Jung with me today. And we are we work in the App Service Diagnostics team. And today we'll be uh, demonstrating how App Service Diagnostics can quickly help you troubleshoot issues with your applications, and also offer AI-powered recommendations for root causes and offer potential solutions. With that, we'll also discuss some of the best practices that you all as developers can implement in your applications to keep them healthy and resilient uh, going ahead as well. So with that, I'll dive straight into our first demo today. So I have basically created this app on Azure App Service, and this is the website where we are trying to sell some chocolates and cakes. Now these are delectable, so let's add a few of those to our cart, right? And as I add that to, that to the card, I would like to place that order. So I go to the checkout and click on that. Fingers crossed. What's going to happen? Is it going to place the order? Failed to place the order. Now, as a developer at this point, I think you're freaked out, right? Because you build this application and it's down, right? So you would like to know how you can quickly troubleshoot this, you know, figure out what's the problem and get a solution to this, right? So what's the first thing you would do, right? you would go to the Azure portal and see if there is something there. Well, there is a diagnose and solve problems, right? You click on that. It opens up the diagnose and solve problems page in the Azure portal. Now in this, if you're familiar with this, you will see basically a lot of troubleshooting categories, right? And these are expert crafted diagnostic checks that you can run against your applications. And these will give you some insights into what the issue may be, sometimes may also offer potential solutions, right? So great, if you know what kind of issue it is, and if you know your way around this page, it's great for you. But what, what if you do not know that, right? What if, so what do you have for that? What are you a first time user here? So you can ask your questions to Genie. So if you go to Ask Genie, this is basically a place where you can just describe the problem you're facing, and you will receive, uh, basically it will take over the investigation for you, right? So in this case, I would type in something like, my app is down, right? And as I do that, as soon as I enter, Genie goes back into its AI-powered model and tries to figure out the most relevant diagnostic checks to run for this problem, right? Once it does that, it shows up those information here in the form of insights. You can look at these insights, but there can be a lot of them. So it also summarizes that into a root cause analysis for you. Now let's take a time to read this, right? The diagnostic check has found that the web app is the main cause of ICP usage, right? We didn't know that was happening. Now we know that, right? Across multiple instances, and the average CPU is 89 whatever percentage, right? So at this point, we kind of have some idea of what the problem is, right? This is a high CPU usage issue on this app, right? So now, having that information, we can actually probably like go up and see, is there some information on high CPU analysis, right? So there is a high CPU analysis inside, and it's telling us the same information, and there's a, there's a wouldn't to go and see more details about that, right? So as we click that view details, it launches the high CPU analysis. And this analysis basically looks at all the metrics and logs in your application to give you information on what is the CPU trend of this app, when exactly the spike occurred, right? So we can see at that point the spike occurred on the app, right? It will also tell you that if there's a particular application in the app service plan that is causing this spike. So let's say this is the particular app that's causing the spike. What's even great is that it has found a solution for us, right? This is the obvious thing to click on that button and see what the solution is. In this case, it's telling us to enable proactive CPU monitoring on this app. Now what it does is, it will monitor the CPU of the machine and when it goes high, it will automatically collect memory dumps for your app. It will analyze those dumps and give you that information that which piece of code is causing that. So let's see how you can enable proactive CPU monitoring on this app. Right. So in this, basically as you set it to on, it will give you some options as to how much CPU threshold should be there before this triggers up, right? You can also set some monitor frequency. In terms of action that is to be taken when the CPU goes high, you can collect memory dumps, you can kill the process, restart it, right? And you can, it will then automatically analyze those dumps, right? So we pick the collect, kill, and an analyze option. Once we click on save, as soon as we do this, uh, proactive CPU monitoring triggers for this app, right? Now it may take a few minutes to actually collect those memory dumps, analyze those, right? So you can see it's waiting for dumps. Now while we are doing this, I actually have a report 
pre-prepared for this scenario in which we can see, so this is the kind of report that will be generated after the process finishes. And as you can see, it's telling us information on that the certain threads that are causing the CPU usage. It will also go a little bit deeper into that these are making call to the sleep API using the .NET library, right? And to get into more information, we can actually see the exact piece of code in our application that is causing this high CPU usage, right? So this method called bulk entries, which is causing this. So once we have this, we can go and fix the code. The problem is solved. Besides that, what else is Genie telling me? It is also giving me a link to a complete guide to diagnosing CPU issues within your applications, right? In this guide, basically, it takes us through the entire journey of how you, how you, as a user, right, when you have time on your hands, can troubleshoot these apps and you can learn to how to inspect instance by instance CPU, how to drill down deeper into which processes are causing the high CPU, right? And you can check app by app consumption of CPU and ultimately, it has a video guide from our diagnostics expert to doing all of this step by step, right? So once we have done this, this part is solved, right? We would like to go back to Genie and ask it about, so this problem is solved for now, right? But what can I do to prevent this from happening in future, right? So I would probably wanna ask the question like, what steps can I take to prevent high CPU usage, right? So I would say something like, what are some best practices to follow to prevent high CPU usage in my app, right? When I do that, it goes back into the bottle. It first analyzes what the CPU patterns were and then gives a personalized recommendation, right? So in this, we are saying it's giving us some steps to like scale up the app service plan. But the question is when to scale the app service plan, right? And for that, we have this auto scaling feature in Azure App Services. But the question here is now that yes, automatic scale, but how to use this feature? How to enable this feature, right? That's the obvious question. So you wanna know more about this, you can say how to apply auto scaling in my app, right? As we do that, it will basically first check if auto scaling is enabled in your app or not. Once it does that check, it says auto scale profile is not configured, right? And then it gives you the exact list of steps that you should be taking to implement auto scaling in your app service, right? So it got us from basically solving the issue to also giving us some insights into how we can prevent these issues in the future, right? With that, I'll conclude my demo, and I'll hand it over to my colleague, Yun Jong, to show you another exciting demo of Genie in action. All right, now that Ajay has walked us through on how to use App Service Diagnostics together with Ask Genie to solve a problem with high CPU, I wanna use the tools to try and fix another issue that I'm experiencing on a different app called Demo Webcam New. So I know that recently there's been some issues with availability and performance. So what I'll do to begin with is just click onto one of the troubleshooting categories titled, uh, titled availability and performance. So once I click onto the availability and performance category, immediately I'll see um, that some checks are being run on the backend telemetry, uh, some data is being analyzed automatically, and then I can see on the left, there are several different troubleshooting scenarios for me to check out. And right off the bat, I see there is a number of failed requests that's being um, pointed out. And then if I see the graph below, I can see uh, it's pretty consistent. I'm seeing some 500s over the span of the last 24 hours. So now that I know this much, I'm gonna go to Ask Genie, which is also available within the troubleshooting category, and then ask about a lot of failures that I'm seeing. Okay, I can see that my problem statement's been passed on to our AI model. What's really happening in the background is obviously, as you saw, we're trying to find the best match to the problem statement that I provided um, in the store. So we're gonna get some rich diagnostics to help resolve this issue, as well as get some summary at the end, uh, compiling all the you know, uh, diagnostic insights that were provided above, along with some results from the web. And I can see that it's pointing out that it looks like the application is experiencing some exceptions and that also they detected 19 app crash events in the last 24 hours. So that definitely worries me and warrants some investigation. So what I'll do now is I'll just scroll up and just go through some of the diagnostic insights that have been provided. And I'll probably start with app crashes given that you know 19 is a concerning number. Um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna click onto the view details for the application crashes diagnostics. Okay, 
now I'm inside of application crash diagnostics. I can see um, pretty you know, consistent messaging here that there's been some exceptions as well as crashes. So 13 crashes due to Stack Overflow and four crashes due to CLR exception. And then it's also saying something about the unhandled ASP.NET exceptions table below. Um, so as I scroll down, um, I can see there are some you know, supplemental information for me to try and troubleshoot this issue. But what if I want to know, you know, want a refresher on what unhandled exceptions are? So I'm going to turn to Ask Genie again and ask a question. What are unhandled exceptions? And then you'll immediately see some results and the AI-powered recommendation giving you an explanation of what unhandled exceptions are. So without, you know, having to, you know, open up another browser and, you know, Google this or Bing this, I was just able to do it in context in my troubleshooting journey. So what I'll do now is I'll actually close this and then check out the solution that's been recommended to me. So if I click on that blue button titled View Solution, I can see that it's prompting me to actually enable crash monitoring. So I'll click onto that button to get to the page for enabling crash monitoring. And this is the page where you can engage with this tool and basically enable crash monitoring to collect memory dumps and call stack information that can be used to identify the root cause of the issue that you're having. So it'll automatically collect memory dumps and call stack information when another crash happens. So I'm gonna set this up. Given that I'm seeing like two different exceptions, probably I'll take like three memory dumps just to be safe. And then start monitor. Okay, and you'll know that um, when, once it's showing that loading icon, it means that the tool is in the works. Um, but because we don't have a whole lot of time today, I actually ran this beforehand, um, have some of the call stack information already captured in the view history for one of the exceptions. So if I expand onto view history, you know, I can see the same exit code that I saw earlier and then a link to view the call stack. So if I expand on it, I can actually see, you know, the exact line of code, what I need to do to get this issue fixed. So now that I've, you know, gone through this whole process of fixing an issue with a crash, what I want to explore next is basically, you know, how can I prevent such issues from happening in the future? Like, what can I really do to make sure that my app is following all the best practices to ensure that there, it's really resilient to downtimes? So that's when Ask Genie also comes in. And now I'm gonna ask a question, you know, what are some best practices out there for me to keep my app healthy? All right, so best practices for keeping my app healthy. Okay, and you can see also another AI power recommendation is generated on some of the best practices you can follow for Azure web apps. It's even pointing to the ultimate guide we have for running healthy apps in the cloud, um, which is you know, our go-to documentation for all things that have to do with best practices with Azure web apps. But I actually want to direct your attention to this particular diagnostic that was just populated. Um, and you can see um, basically we are running all the checks on the backend logs and the configurations of your application to see if your app is following all the required best practices to ensure that your app is you know, running healthy on the cloud. So with that, I'll actually switch over to our slides. and then just try to really drive the point home, just quickly reiterate uh, you know, what we went over today. So um, App Service Diagnostics and Ask Genie is a way for you to quickly troubleshoot issues with your Azure web apps. And you can really think of Genie as like your AI powered assistant almost, like an AI powered assistant that will help you along your diagnostics journey. And as you saw, you can get some rich diagnostics. These have been authored by some of the domain experts in the field. And you can also have access to some of the troubleshooting tools like proactive CPU monitoring, which Ajay went over just now, and then also crash monitoring, and there's more. 
Um, also, these AI-powered recommendations can you know, take you from being a first-time user to a power user in no time, because you don't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to click through all the categories, trying to click through all the UI components. You can just you know, ask a question, and then it'll actually guide you throughout the whole troubleshooting process. And then lastly, you know, there are some built-in practices that I went, briefly went over at the end and some resiliency measures that you can quickly follow. Um, so yeah, feel free to check out Azure App Service Diagnostics and also our Ask Genie experience. And I hope you all have a great time at Build. <laughs>